What's well, poppin' mother truckers on the coming attraction and we back at it like a crack addict with another 2k video If you guys haven't already hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications We got daily uploads you guys do not want to miss it But as always ladies and gentlemen, we have a message from our daily sponsor If you guys are looking for stacked 2k accounts be sure to go hit these guys up But let's get into it if you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2k account with max badges and more visit sports He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews Click the first link in the description to get your account today. Bada bing, bada boom, let's do what it do. We're taking a team full of Steph Curry and seeing if they can go 82 and 0. All Stephs, all 97 overall. That's pretty damn good. This team will struggle with one thing though, and that is size. I know a lot of you can relate. He's only 6'3", 185, so going against Western Conference big men like DeAndre Ayton, Nikola Jokic, Kristaps Porzingis, it's going to be difficult. So without further ado, let's simulate to the All-Star break and see what happens. Okay, so 82-0 in this season is not going to get it done as they already have two losses in the first two weeks. Oh my god, they scored 171 points against the Trailblazers though. So there are four Steph Currys on the All-Star teams. Remember those two losses I talked about? Yeah, they're 56-2. and two. They're the only two losses they've had. Surprisingly, there's only one Curry in the three-point contest. He did end up winning, though. Let's simulate to the end of the season now, though, to check out the stats and awards. Stephen Curry, broken nose, out four to six weeks. Oh, no, it's not like we have 14 more of them. Okay, so Nikola Jokic wins MVP of this season, averaging 27 points, 15 rebounds, and 10 assists. Uh, Cade Cunningham, Rookie of the Year. Andre Drummond, Sixth Man of the Year. Giannis wins Defensive Player of the Year. Uh, Drew Eubanks, whoever the hell that is, wins Most Improved Player. Steve Kerr wins Coach of the Year as the Golden State Warriors go 78-4. and Wow. And this is shocking, but no Steph Curry is on any three of the All-NBA team. Luka Doncock led the league in scoring. Nikola Jokic led the league in rebounding. And Nikola Jokic led the league in assists. An extremely well-balanced scoring attack from all the Currys averaging around 15 to 20. They averaged a league leading 140 points a game. They obviously got the number one seed. Let's go ahead and simulate this round by round to see if they do end up winning the championship. They should. Okay, they advance. Beat the Sacramento Kings. Um, They're going to be taking on the Lakers in this round. Let's see what happens. Sweep the Lakers. Are they going to sweep this whole playoffs? Let's see here. Uh, ooh, winning six against the Memphis Grizzlies. They're going to be taking on the Cleveland Cavaliers without LeBron James. I don't know how the hell they made it in the NBA Finals. Let's simulate this first NBA Finals and see what happens. Simulate it game by game. Warriors win game one. Warriors game win two. Uh, Cavs win game three. Warriors win game four. And Warriors win game five and do win the championship, but do not go 82-0. I wonder who Finals MVP is going to be. Oh, wait. He averaged 18 points a game, 4.8 rebounds, and 5 assists. Season number 2 now. Still got all the curries. Let's see if they can go 82-0 this time. Simulating, 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 simulating. No losses yet. Come on, cross your fingers, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness. The freaking Charlotte Hornets. Are you kidding me? In this season, Trey Young won MVP. Uh, Christian Scott wins Rookie of the Year. Jeremy Grant wins Sixth Man of the Year. Giannis wins Defensive Player of the Year again. And Precious Achiwawawawawawa wins Most Improved Player. The Warriors only went 68 and 14 this year. That's not that good. Obviously, they get the first seed again. Let's go ahead and simulate it to playoffs and see if they do end up winning the championship, though. They advance through the first round, second round. They're in the finals, and they win another championship. Just not good enough to go 82 and 0 that season. Obviously, Curry wins Finals MVP again. I think we'll do five seasons of this, so we'll have three more. Let's see how this one goes since then korea has been rocky balboa so uh leave me alone like flip the narrow what's a pyramid scheme to an egyptian pharaoh i spit valeros i whip camaros alex caruso's on the 76ers now probably gonna be taking ben simmons's spot let's see if curry and the warriors can get it done this year baby oh my goodness they lose their first fucking game are you kidding me and what the hell happened here, bruh? Oh my goodness. John Morant is on the Minnesota Timberwolves now, and he had 44 points and 14 assists. That's what happened. They also still have Anthony Edwards, who had 34 points. This is going to be a championship team. They lose to the Charlotte Hornets again this season. They must be their kryptonite. This year, there are no Stephen Curry's in the three-point contest. Never thought I'd see that day in this sim. Okay, so at the end of this season, Trey Young wins again the MVP award. Whoever Igor Titty wins Rookie of the Year. Um, Whoever this guy is wins Sixth Man of the Year. Giannis Antetokounmpo once again wins defensive player of the year and damian elliott fucking vampire looking motherfucker werewolf looking motherfucker wins most improved player the warriors did go 71 and 11 this year which is a completely legitimate record but it's not 82 and 0 all the curries are still extremely consistent with their scoring and they got the number one seed so not much has changed in this let's go ahead and simulate the entire playoffs again see if they can go three for three so far in nba championships oh i thought they were going to sweep the whole way okay and they end up beating the uh philadelphia 76ers in the finals for their third chip and they end up beating that minnesota grizzlies team with john moran and um anthony 
Edwards in seven games. I thought that might be a tough series for him. I don't even see Carl Anthony Towns' name here anywhere, though. That's the advantage they have against this Steph Curry team is size. He doesn't even show up to game seven of the fucking Western Conference Finals. What did I tell you guys? Not relevant since his Kentucky days. All right, though, let's go ahead and get into season number four of this. Okay, so we're in season number four now, and some of the overalls of the Currys are starting to go down. He started out as 97s across the board. There's some 96s and some 95s. We got some 36-year-old Steph Curry's, man. That's getting old. I'm not giving up, though. Let's see if they're going to be able to do the 82-0 and thing this season, man. Come on, simulate regular season. Oh, jeez. Oh no. Oh god, they lose to the fucking Rockets. Are you kidding me? Three games in. And the Trailblazers, they gave up 175 to the Trailblazers. Okay, so in this season, Luka Doncock wins another MVP, averaging 38 points per game, 9.9 .9 rebounds, and 11.4 assists. Uh, rookie of the year. Who the fuck knows who this orange head motherfucker is? Uh, William Marks wins sixth man of the year. Giannis wins defensive player of the year for the fourth time in a row. And Joe Nichols, the most whitest looking white guy ever with the whitest name ever. This year, the Warriors only go 66 and 16 with with coach Steve Kerr. He wins another coach of the year, but it's not 82 and no. That's not what we're looking for, buddy. This may be the most shocking thing out of the whole simulation, though. There have been no Steph Curry's on any of the All NBA teams still. Still the number one seed, though. Let's go ahead and see if they can make it four for four. Why the hell not? Okay, they sweep the Grizzlies. Oh, uh, who wins six against Houston? The Golden State Warriors, for the first time in the series, have been eliminated. And the Minnesota Timberwolves team that I was worried about from the jump ends up winning the championship. John Morant wins five. Finals MVP averaging 38 points a game and 10 assists, two steals. They did lose in seven games. Okay, see, Carl Anthony Towns decided to show up for this game seven, and they actually win it. 25 points, eight rebounds, six assists. Good job, buddy. But obviously, the um, uh, story of this team is Anthony Edwards and John Moran, 35 and 11, then 29 and four. And who was on the Cavaliers that keep making the finals? No extreme superstars, but apparently Darius Garland has turned into a good player. So he had 37 points. Uh, Evan Mobley, Tyrese Halliburton's on that team. Now, Jared Allen. Is this Chris Paul? It is Chris Paul. Paul. An old Chris Paul, but it's Chris Paul. I guess Chris Paul was the only banana boat boy to get the memo to go back to Cleveland. Let's get into the final season of this experiment, though. All right, Currys, this is your last chance to get the fucking job done. They played the Timberwolves pretty early in the season. That's the kryptonite. Hopefully, they can get over the hump. And they lose the first game of the season again to the fucking Oklahoma City Thunder. They lose another game. Oh my goodness, man. Let's go ahead and see if they do end up losing to the Timberwolves team. Come on, simulate. And they end up beating the, sim the uh, Timberwolves, you know, and they score 181 points. And whoa, this is kind of crazy. Cade Cunningham, in what, his fourth year, wins MVP of the league, averaging 37 points a game. You got a bunch of freaking weirdo guys who are winning the uh, awards now. Giannis won Defensive Player of the Year every single year in this, though. And then you got fucking Edgar Cox. And this is one of their worst seasons yet as they finish 67 and 15. As always, though, they get the number one seed. So let's go ahead and simulate and see if they can win the championship and go four for five in this simulation. Okay, advancing to the conference finals now. And oh my God, they made it to the finals but ended up losing to the Cleveland Cavs. Darius Garland wins finals MVP this year, averaging 42 points a game and 14 assists. Ladies and gentlemen, though, that is going to do it, man. We weren't able to complete our goal of going 82 and 0 with a team full of Steph Curry's, but hey, it was fun. We saw some interesting simulation stuff happen. If you guys did enjoy this video, hit the subscribe button, turn on post notifications. You guys don't want to miss a single freaking upload. I just want to say thank you so much for the support on the channel, though. It truly means the world to me. But I just want to say thank you so much for the support on the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by and on becoming attraction.